fellas now? What are we fighting about? Here we are in the playground of the gods. We got bimbos on the tube. We got the law on the floor. We got sugar on our nuts. <laughs> and we got our wives at the Jeffersons. Who gives a rat's patoot who was in the first light beer commercial? He's right. Yeah. Especially since we all know it was Bubba Smith. <laughs> I was back in the game where it's safe. You left the game? Two years after my knees did. Watch it now! Watch it now! Watch it now! Oh. Billy Mark Bubba Smith! Billy Mark Bubba Smith! Jefferson, watch my camera! I got it! Thanks for bringing me here, Al. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. I usually pride myself on being a lady at all times. Hey, Lord Butt! <laughs> Couple of brewskis over here! Hey, guys, a toast to the working man, the last American hero. Right, guys? Right. right. We work to make a living, and what do we get? Squat! <laughs> And what else? Nothing. Nothing. Why do we go on? We're, We're stupid. stupid. <laughs> A toast to the stupid working man. To, to us. us. You know what really frosts my weenie? <laughs> After you marry them, they don't care how they look. Don't even shave, right, guys? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can't complain. At least I live with one who has a job, makes me dinner, and doesn't mind rubbing my feet after a hard day. Yeah, but your mom's getting kind of old. <laughs> Besides, moms aren't really women. I'm talking about the things you marry. I mean, when you come... I mean, when you come crawling home after a hard day, what do they want? Love it. They don't understand. It's just more work for us. I mean, the last thing a guy wants to look at at the end of a day is a woman. Hey, look at that one. Hey, Al. You know what else ticks me off? It's the way they change. I mean, when I first married Steve, he was a greedy, materialistic pig. He'd step on an old lady for a dollar. God, how he excited me. Now he's just another man with seahorses on his boxer shorts. <laughs> oh, well. What if Steve never works again? Lock yourself in the bathroom and don't have kids. <laughs> hey, guys. Kids. <laughs> Case in point. See that old man in the corner there? <laughs> Neil Cochran, eight kids. He's 30 years old. <laughs> Would you care to try your luck? Mr. Bundy. Al Bundy. <laughs> I think that's so. And what is your name, my dear? Yummy all day. And yummy all night, too, I'll wager. <laughs> Don't you remember me? The night in Monaco? My yummy. I didn't recognize you drive. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but can I get you a drink? 
Beer. Shaken, not stirred. <laughs> I know, I know. Hey, babe, give me a kiss. You're hurting me. I like to hurt women. <laughs> Apologize to the lady. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mr. Bundy. No problem, miss. Always ready to help out a lady in distress. And this dress, and this dress. <laughs> Get my beer, please. Oh, and a TV guide for later. <laughs> Look, just because we're leaving our pregnant wives alone to fend for themselves without a cent in the world, that doesn't make us bad people, does it? <laughs> Many's the great American before us who have skipped out in the needy. Take, for example, the rifleman. He knew not to hang out with his wife. You know, I always suspected that's who he was blowing to smithereens before the start of each show. <laughs> You know, Al, I've been thinking. I mean, I'm almost done with the first trimester. Now, what if the worst is over and it's all good from now on and we miss out on it? Huh? <laughs> you know, I'm finally starting to understand how she got you. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. There is no such thing as a trimester. There's actually just one long 40-year-mester. <laughs> of course, uh, then when they get pregnant, it turns into what I call the mini-mester. <laughs> Uh, that's you got your fat mester, your you got your puke mester. <laughs> Lord help us, you got your horny mester. That's when I left. So Al, where are you gonna go to? Somewhere where shoe men run wild and free in the big sky. <laughs> Where never is heard an impregnated word, and the hooters are uncovered all day. That's beautiful, Al. That's beautiful. Monocles, family trees, go. <laughs> Gentlemen, would you like to be somebody? Your shirt. <laughs> Uh, how much for an ex-football player with a cool name? Two hundred dollars. What can I get for a buck? She sells men named Al. <laughs> Give me some gum. <laughs> hey, I'll pick my own name, huh? <laughs> my new name will be, um... Bazooka Joe. <laughs> Damn. Wish I'd thought of that before I decided on Anheuser-Busch. <laughs> yep, the Bushmeister's going to Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> Join up with some friends that have a lobster boat, and I'm gonna be the mighty fisherman. <laughs> How about you, Al? Hmm. Going to L.A., gonna be the big white hooter hunter. <laughs> 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 Yep. <laughs> Us to Seattle, now leaving 8-11. Well, back to the wives? Yep, back to the wives. Yeah, but if she has another baby in the next 18 years, I swear I'm going. Me too. <laughs> I'm going home. Can I have my dollar back? <laughs> Here's five. Take a cab. Can I have some change? Where's my pumpkin? Hey, you guys. Have you seen a cute little blonde-haired girl? Yeah. She just finished off some guy. If you want a piece of her action, go see her manager. <laughs> that guy over there. Oh, hi, Al. Man, you should see your daughter hustling. 
say good night, Superfly. Hi, Daddy. What's new? Stand back, pumpkin. He's just about to pop, and I don't want teeth and eyes all over you. Daddy, it's not Mr. Darcy's fault. It was my idea to hustle pool. Well, honey, why didn't you tell me that's what you were doing? Well, because you said you didn't like me hanging out in these kind of places. Well, sweetheart, you were only five then. <laughs> well, Jefferson, looks like I owe you an apology. <laughs> here, let me help you out. <clears throat> there now, here. All right. No harm, no foul. Friends, huh? <laughs> now, come on, honey. This place is a little unsavory for you. Let's say we go in a bar and we get Dad a beer and a girly magazine straight home. <laughs> another match coming. Daddy, I can't lose. Honey, it matters not. When it comes to my little girl, there's something's more important than money. I've got $10,000 that says I can beat any girl in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can handle that. <laughs> What's that you say, Jefferson? I should handle it? You're covered. I'm Slick Stick Jackson. Who are you? Oh, my. Why, I'm Al. <laughs> What's a cool nickname for me? I'm Al Daddy Bundy. <laughs> Where's your money, Daddy? What are you, my wife? <laughs> I'll get that money if I have to dance naked in the street. Psst, Dad. Sailors are the best tippers. <laughs> You the boss? Yeah. What can I do for you, sweet cheeks? <laughs> well, for one thing, you can look at my face when you're talking to me. <laughs> and for another, I I'm here for the bartending job. You'll do. You'll do just fine. Hot doggy! <laughs> when do all the topless babes get here? Oh, my God, it's not you, is it? No, it's not me. It's you. Hey, bartender, let's hurry up with those drinks. Well, if you've got it, try it. <laughs> 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 